blessings and blessings, beautiful tribe from the volcanic rocks of somewhere in Maui. If you are new to my tribe, hello and welcome. Today's transmission. Oh, oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. The seven keys to a successful life. Key number one is health. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. A lot of people try to skip out on that. They'll buy the iPhone 38, they'll buy the newest bag, the newest shoes, they'll even take trips, but the one thing that they keep just sort of putting to the side is their health until da 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 da, it gets taken away. And so you can't say that you're successful. You can have $50 billion in your account. If you aren't healthy, you aren't successful. So take care of that. Green juices, lots of water, lots of foods that are alive. Just a little hint. In the grocery store, if let's say gnats and flies came into a grocery store, the only thing they would eat would be the foods on the outer sides of the grocery store. The produce section and maybe the meat section, and I'm not saying you should eat meat or any of the above, but what I am saying is that live foods, things that are alive is what life goes to. And so you may want to uh, model your life after that. Key number two to a successful life is family. I have had the good fortune of traveling all over the world like I'm doing right now and making a bunch of money and doing some really cool stuff. And the interesting thing is, is that none of it would matter if I didn't have friends and family to share it with. Now I'm gonna make this family in particular because anybody who's ever been sick or been hurt knows that, yeah, it's cool when you're up at the top of the mountain and everybody wants to be your friend, right? There's a point when you're gonna be on fire, right? And everybody wants to be your friend, but what happens when you get into a car accident? What happens when something happens to you? The only people that are around are your family. And so cultivating a beautiful love relationship with your family that has deep gratitude for all the shared memories. I coach a lot of people who have beef with their sister or their brother or they're not talking to their cousin or something of this nature. And one of the things I remind them all the time, which I've reminded myself, is that I only have one sister on this planet. There's only one person on this entire world that even remotely knows what it feels like to have grown up with my mother and my father in the city that we grew up, in the house that we grew up in. And so for that alone, I have deep gratitude for my sister. And I challenge you to do the same. Key number three to living and having a successful life is spirituality. You know, it's awesome to think that we know everything with these five senses, but we have come to understand in our science and the mystics have been saying it for years that there is something bigger than all of us, something moving all of life. And when we tap into that, when we begin to have ceremony with that thing that some people call God, that entity that some people call source energy, spirit, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, whatever that thing is for you, when you tap into that and have a deep devotion, it creates a life that immediately has purpose. And so I don't care what it is that you believe, but I found that those who believe in, pray to, pray from, and are in deep communion with spirit, with God as they know it, tend to live more successful lives. Key number four to having a successful life is love. Romantic love. It's beautiful to have your health. It's freaking awesome to have your family. It's amazing to have your spirituality, but it is it takes it to a whole nother level when you can share all of that with somebody romantically. There are places you will never know or things you will never know about yourself until you get into relationship, until you are triggered by your partner, until you, you wake up one morning and you look at them and just go, oh my God, I am so blessed to be in a relationship with this beautiful being. We are social beings. We are born into tribe. And there's a part of us that biologically is always reaching towards sharing sexually, romantically, spiritually in that way, in that divine communion, in that divine dance, that sacred dance that can only happen with another or many others if you're into polyamory. Key number five to living a successful, powerful life is play. Guys, we've forgotten to play. We've become so damn serious that we've forgotten to literally jump 
and dance and play and experience the magic of this life. We are all a bunch of big ass kids. And what I am suggesting is that you move more into your childlike nature, into curiosity and wonder. Be blown away again by the leaves, by the waves, by the colors. Be playful. Decide that you're gonna play more and do it. I promise you, it's a game changer. Way number six to living a successful life is vision slash mission. Having a vision, being a visionary says, there's something I'm going towards, right? This is, this is when you're called towards something. Whatever you're passionate about, whatever's calling you forward, go after that. It's not about necessarily landing because we never land. And even if you do, if you get the hundred million dollars or, or the airplane or whatever it is that you're wanting, right? Or you build the app. After that, you'll celebrate for a little bit and then you'll keep going. So it's about actually just having something that you're striving for, right? Just like all of nature, it's all reaching towards the sun, it's all striving to get more of those beautiful rays. You and I are no different, we're all reaching towards something and so people who live successful lives are those who have a vision and a mission, something that's driving them, they have goals, places they're going, right? And the thing, the key to this whole thing is yes, setting out to do something, but enjoying the journey. That is the process, guys, that is everything. Hear me, the journey is everything. And finally, key number seven to living and experiencing a successful life is gratitude. Just gratitude. You are here out of trillions of possibilities. You are here. You literally are here. You're watching this video from wherever you are. Your heart is beating. You have food in your refrigerator. If you don't have it, you can go get it. You have friends, you have family, you have all of those other things. And so just being grateful for what is. You have another day, another opportunity to live at the top of your lungs, just to live, to truly live. And so for me, this is everything, right? We say it's not the happy people that are grateful, it is the grateful people that are happy. And over and over again, in our society, we have talked about the glass being half full or half empty, and this is about being grateful that you have a glass. It can have spray paint on it and muck on the side of it, but you have a damn glass. You know how many people did not wake up this morning? You know how many people did wake up and didn't have the opportunity to go to a cell phone or a computer? Oh man, we are so blessed. But you gotta look for it. Look for it, guys. That is success. So from my heart to yours, if you are new to the tribe, new to the Love's Voice family, I truly love you and appreciate you. And if you have not clicked that red subscribe button on YouTube, go ahead and do so if you're on Facebook or YouTube. Please share this message, comment below, and let me know which one of these seven keys hit home the most for you. And go out and live. Go out and live. I freaking love you so much. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh. Oh!